Hi, welcome, this is Olive Aguas, and welcome to my superfood kitchen. Today we're gonna to make a gorgeous green smoothie to start your morning off with, and we're gonna start it with pineapple, this beautiful pineapple. The way that you can tell if pineapple is ripe is give it a good smell and you'll know exactly what it smells like, uh, tastes like by the smell. And another way is actually if you pull one of these out and they actually come out. So we're gonna start with this and I'm gonna teach you actually how to cut a pineapple. So I'm gonna show you the way my dad taught me, which is actually you start by cutting off the top. And then you start cutting down the sides and make sure that when you cut, you get a clean orange stripe here. So we're gonna just cut around the side here. And you can really smell the pineapple, how sweet it actually smells, how ripe it is. It's a sign that's gonna be a good smoothie. All right. Now we're gonna cut off the bottom here. With pineapple, you have this little circle here in the middle. This circle right here is really fibrous. So you want to make sure you're gonna cut this in force and then cut it off because you actually don't want that in your smoothie or even to eat it. So we're cutting it at force right here. It's really, really juicy, really sweet. So we're gonna use one fourth of the pineapple for this and we're gonna cut straight down the center here. There we go. Now you can save this for the juicer, or you can just actually chew on it, but make sure you don't swallow any of the fibers in it. Put that on the side. So important thing here, we're gonna make two smoothies here, so we wanna actually garnish it first. So we'll cut two little pieces here to garnish it with for the side. Put this for the side. And we're gonna cut this straight down the center here. And we'll throw it into our Vitamix. So this is gonna make a huge green smoothie for yourself or one for you and your partner, or for, in my case, my friend. So we have about a fourth of a pineapple here and we're gonna add a pear. Now this pear is gonna give it a really nice creaminess, a little bit of a sweetness. I really like adding pears in smoothies. And the nice thing about pears is you can just add the whole thing into it. So I'm not even gonna core it. Give it a nice slice down the center and into here. So now we're gonna add one cup of fresh coconut milk. It's always perfect for first thing in the morning with your smoothies. There we go. And next, the magic ingredients, moringa. This is a really interesting leaf. It's actually full of protein, so it's a perfect thing to have in your, in your breakfast smoothie. I like to add always a tablespoon, so we're gonna do exactly the same. If you ever get a chance, you should actually Google what a moringa tree looks like. It's the weirdest looking thing. It almost looks like an like a animal. So there we go. Now we're just gonna we'll give this a whiz. Now what we're looking for with a smoothie, with any green smoothie, when you're mixing fruit and vegetable, is that you want to make sure every particle is completely broken down. That will help with digestion. So let's give this a smell because pineapple and pear always smell beautiful together. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so here's our glasses. I'm going to put a little garnish on the top. Make everything always look beautiful. There we go. And there we go, really frothy and beautiful looking. Okay. So, there we go. This is my Moringa morning smoothie.